Well, hey guys, this video is kind of a continuation of the color organ. You know, I did that video a little while back about the simple color organ. Well, this is a simple circuit that would drive an LED to the beat of a music. It's essentially the bass section or the low frequency section of the color organ circuit, except I'm now using an audio output amplifier because it has more current and can drive a larger power LED such as this Cree CXA1304. These are awesome little LEDs. They come in different voltages and this is a 9 volt version which which we want here for the circuit. Now this is a single supply amplifier. It runs at 12 volts. And the reason you want that is because the output will have about a 6 volt continuous bias on it when it's sitting idle. And since our LED is 9 volts, it'll be below the voltage which turns the LED on, which is around, it probably starts glowing around 7.5 volts. So when you put a signal on the output, it's actually riding on that 6 volt output you know that fixed 6 volt output so when the signal goes higher it'll exceed the turn on voltage of the LEDs and make it blink and of course when it goes low it turns it off you don't really want to use this on a AC coupled amplifier because you, know, you could send a large negative voltage spike to your LEDs and you really don't want to do that. Some LEDs have a protection diode built in which might even start conducting and you can cause issues. So that's why I recommend this circuit. Okay, let's take a look at the circuit from beginning to end. You have your line in, potentiometer to adjust the level, low pass filter, of course the amplifier itself, the output, you have a resistor to limit the current through the LEDs. And really, that's about it. Not much to it. Now, I'm showing a capacitor and a speaker as a dotted line. And I just have that hooked up on my circuit so you can hear the music. Otherwise, it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to you know, play the song and see the beat without hearing the music. And... Really, it's, that's about it. It's a pretty simple circuit. One thing about music, though. You know, this circuit has no intelligence. It's only going to beat to the uh, bass drum. So if your music doesn't have that, or it's compressed the hell, and the bass drum doesn't really, you know, uh, stand out among the rest of the frequencies, you may not get a good beat. Having the low pass filter there might help with that somewhat, but it's good to have music with a distinct beat. And if you use a software, audio editing software like Audacity, you can load your file in there, if it's a digital file, and look at it and see if the kick drum beats stand out, and it might work better that way. Okay, so I do have a circuit saw already set up to go. I'm not using an LM386. It's a TDA62. It's a TDA60, I'm sorry, 7267. And it's the same circuit, just a different chip. Has the uh, filter on the input and everything. And I do have a speaker connected to it so you can hear it. And I looked through my music and I found some... 80s hairband metal that has a nice beat to it. It's the band Rat from their album Out of the Cellar. I don't really listen to this music much anymore, but hey, I, it was one of my favorite albums from the time, so let's give it a roll here.
know, I'd say that worked quite marvelously. Now I'm going to try a different type of music. A type of music that has that long bass drone that makes subwoofers put out a lot of bass sound. And it, you know, it doesn't really have a beat effect like the kick drum. See how it reacts with the uh, circuit here I'm using. Well, there you go. It uh, doesn't work as well, but it you know, kind of flutters and stays on with the bass. Well, that's it. The bass beat strobe effect circuit. Thanks for watching.